day. This is an impromptu stream actually. I've been cleaning up my craft space and just doing some, you know, trying to get myself all trying to get myself organized. I have been cleaning up my craft room. So that is what I've been doing. What have you ladies been up to today? It's, I know it's early. It's early for me. It's not early for you guys on the East Coast. I think it's like 1130. But for me, it's like early, early in the morning. I've actually been awake for a good long time. You know how there's like just like some days that you just have insomnia and you just don't sleep? Well, that's been my day to day. So... I talked to somebody last night and they were like, just, you know, just go in and stream. And I probably should have done it last night because I've been working full-fledged on my craft and stuff. So tell me what's going on with everyone else. I want to hear. I want to know how your weekend is. If, I, if it sounds like I'm whispering, it's because uh, everybody's asleep in my house. Everyone is asleep. It's just how it works sometimes. I'll show you guys some cool stuff that I'm working on. I'm working on those accordion books. Did any of you guys work on those? Did anybody make them besides me? It's so fun. I mean, I'm I'm a little bit addicted. I'm a little bit addicted to it. I, I'm actually really addicted to making these accordion books. Isn't that ridiculous. I am. So you guys say hey. Tell me who's here. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure. Hi, Sarita. You were just thinking of me. Well, it's really super early in the morning where I am. Hi, Brenda. I know. Oh my gosh, Brenda. I have really been pity pat patting. Wait till you see. I haven't even been asleep, you guys. Hi, Yvonne. How are you? If I'm whispering, it's because everybody in my house is asleep. And I don't want to wake anybody up. So, it's it's super early in the morning here. It's still dark out. That's why it looks so dark in here. So, I've been working on these accordion books. How much? How many of you guys made these accordion books? Hi, Shelly2004. Good morning. Or Yeah, it's morning where you guys are, too. So I have been, I've made a bunch of tags today. I have been making, I've just been crafting, doing my craft, doing my, doing my craft thing. But I've been working on these accordion books that we made out of junk mail on Friday. I don't know, I don't think I can make the light any better in here. Is it too dark? Can you guys tell me? It's, it's pitch black out. Um, wake them up. No, are you kidding? It's only 5.30 in the morning here. Well, you know, that's kind of true, except that, you know, it's the weekend, and, you know, they've all been, you know, Hottie's been working crazy hours and doing all this stuff. My desk is a mess. And But I've been making, um, where's my glue stick? So I've been working on these accordion books. Hi, Lily, how are you? Hi, Amanda, how are you? Good morning, everyone. So I'm addicted to making these accordion books, and for those of you that didn't see our stream on Friday, we were making them. And I'm sorry if I'm whispering, but it's it's super early in the morning in here. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. How are you? This was not planned. So I did. How many of you guys made one of these? I'm a little bit addicted to it. I'm sewing together my second one, but let me show you. Remember, I told you guys I have to give a card. My desk is a huge. My table is like a real mess. Um. Remember I told you guys I have to give a card, and last year I gave a, or why well, that wasn't last year, it was just several months ago, I gave, uh, I gave a trash card, and then the lady said something, you know, like, oh, look at my card that Shelly made from trash. Well, I decided I was going to still make it from trash, and uh, I haven't gone to sleep, Lily. I've been awake. I didn't, haven't gone to sleep yet. Hi, hi, Karen. How are you? Awesome, awesome. If you guys haven't gone over to Karen's channel, if you guys want to be really inspired and see some amazing junk journals, go over to Karen's channel. The And her first name is K-A-R-I-N. So those that are on the chat, look at, um, just take note of it and go over and subscribe to her channel and see the most amazing junk journals. So I'll show you guys the trash cards I'm making. 
And I'm sorry if I'm whispering, but it's like, it's so early in the morning here. It's like 5.30 in the morning. So I made these cards out of junk mail. And I don't know if you can see, like I, I painted the junk mail. Can you see it's all just junk mail? And I'm making these accordion, these accordion books. So I haven't been asleep yet, Lily. I haven't. I've just been, you know how, do you ever get in a zone where you're just like really enjoying what you're creating and then you just keep going? I'm sorry, I have like such a mess here. Well, I finished one. Let me show you the finished one, and then I'm going to continue to sew it together. So if you guys haven't made them, it's super fun. I'm happy to see all of you. It's early in the morning here. So this is a couple things that I made because I have to mail off my package. I was supposed to mail it off Friday, but I got a note to mail it off on Monday, so I made her some extra things. So this is the finished product. Okay, I don't know how good you can see it. Let me see. Can you guys see it? It's dark in here. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can make it turn the light toward me a little bit more so can you guys see can you see the the finished product so this is book pages that are that are glued on to um, packaging boxes and this is a piece of um, oh I love to stay up all night Lily I don't do it all the time anymore I used to oh I'm glad you're feeling better Sarita so this is packaging right and then this is seam binding. Somebody sent me in some happy mail. And then wait, I'm like, I'm so in love with making these things now. I don't think I'm gonna be making them for a while. Okay, here we go. All right, so here we go. Here's hers. This is all made from junk mail, you guys. Junk mail. And I'm like loving it. This was all painted. It was junk mail and then it's covered in painted book pages. Let me move it toward me. What do you guys think? I want to, I, you know what, I'm, I'm in a good space right now. It's really zen and there's nobody awake, so it's kind of good. So I'm in love with it. And then look at the back. In the back, I just tied it and you can still see the junk mail. I didn't really try to cover it up totally. I just painted over it. So I'm, I'm really super in love with this. It's so ridiculous, I know. And you can see the insides and see how it's glued on to the the book pages or what the the cardboard with the you know the pasta box with the painted book pages isn't it cool I'm like really in love with making these you guys it's like addictive it's like really addictive yeah and then um, so I have a couple more to finish so for those of you that joined us on Friday this is what we made on Friday in our live stream we made this and we made some cool ATC's but um, we're making ATCs and we're calling them power power cards, like empowerment cards. Don't you like it, Sarita? I like it. It's made of junk mail, so I don't think the lady's going to say anything this time. Whoever gets it this time, I don't think she's going to say, oh, you made me a junk mail card. But I'm like really loving it. If somebody made me a card like this, and I think I'm going to write on the back of it, you know, the where the blank part was. So I'm just sewing some together, and then I also made her this, which is just a journaling charm out of um, I had just some old chain. I have a big, huge roll of it, and some, you know, inexpensive beads. These, this was from an old bracelet. I took it apart. Not real pearls, obviously, and some copper wire. So I made her a, a journaling charm. I don't know how well you can see it. Thanks, Amanda. Your brother's in Dixon, California right now? Oh, that's awesome, Sarita. How long is he going to be there? So tell me what's on your crafty table, girls. So for those of you that want to know how to make this, if you go back on Friday, you can see it. But basically, it's made out of, um, let me show you. I made it out of this type of thing. I'm sorry, my, my desk is a mess made it out of a flyer like this made it made it out of two junk mail flyers and then you accordion fold it together and cut it and I glued a bunch of pages on it you know what you can do pictures look I didn't Diana like look I haven't sewn this one together this one's just pieces and I was getting ready to sew it together if you're gonna do your um, pictures you have to do it in the valleys of the fold but I kind of liked it. I liked it the way it was. I liked the shadow box effect. 
So I didn't really do any. And my ones, and these little mock-up ones that I did, the ones that I did on Friday, like the little mock-up ones that I haven't finished, I did do some stamping on the pages. So you can see the stamping on these. You're, you're, you're crocheting, Karen? Oh, I love crocheting. Your, your brother's in a different town every day, Sarita. Well, hopefully he's going to enjoy it. So if you want to make it and put pictures on the inside, you can certainly do that. But I kind of liked the artistic effect of the windows. And I kind of like the, you know, I kind of, you could have put a sentiment inside of it if you wanted to. But I kind of liked the way it was. And I figure I'm just going to write my sentiment on the back. You're tired, Lily, after your wedding? After the wedding? Oh. Because you catered, right? Is that what you did? Oh. Well, I hope you sleep well, Lily. I hope you sleep. Sleep well. I really do. So this is super fun. So this is really what it is, okay? It's just so easy, okay? So if anybody wants to make it a lot, make it. It's just not, it's not difficult at all. You need two pieces of paper the same size. It doesn't matter what size they are, but you, you can decide, right? And then, um, Diana's saying she, she prefers the paper pictures. She prefers the pictures and also I thought paper cutting or silhouette faces, yeah, go for it. Whatever you want to do. It's your accordion book. You can do whatever you want. So basically what you do is you fold it so that there's eight folds, okay? And you do two pieces exactly the same. This is just scrap a piece of 6 by 6 scrapbooking paper, okay? And then after you have it together, when you get it, when you get it like this, you take the three center folds and you cut little a notch in it and out right so that it makes those windows and then you stamp on the blank side because that's the inside this is the outside right you stamp, do your stamping if you want to do stamping and then you sew it together and I'll show you and then you make little ends for it it's your yeah coffee and crafting you know what Renee I haven't even been to bed yet I, have to, I haven't even been to bed yet so I was still crafting and it's quiet in my house. So I'm excited about this one. I'm, I'm excited to, to, to send this one to her. I like it. Hopefully she'll like it. And if she doesn't, oh well. I didn't spend um, a million years making it. But I've enjoyed it. So it's very addictive, you guys. And can you imagine if you do really, if you do some drawings, you're, you're good to go. So I'm sewing this one together. I've sewed... Um, I've sewed th uh, two, three of the sections together. So what you do is you poke a hole. I don't know if you can see. You can see it better from the back. You poke a hole, two holes, and you just run thread through it. And I'm just going to leave my thread in the back. I'm, I've totally been in the pity pat, pat zone, Brenda. I have totally been. So I have one more section to go, and then I have the ends. So I thought maybe I'd do that with you guys. And while I'm sitting here doing it myself, I have totally been in the pity pat pat. Are you kidding? Toddy came home last night and he was like, what are you doing? I was sitting here pity pat patting. I had paint all over me, you guys. I've painted more than just this, but I painted all these pages and, um, I, Sarita, I liked the last card I made, okay? <laughs> I liked the last card I made her, or made the person, right? Only to get it posted in a group that I'd make, that I make trash cards, so... I'm gonna make sure that I tell the the lady that that's the recipient of this card that I made that I make trash cards. Because why not? I'm not I'm not ashamed of my trashy cards. I am not ashamed of my trashy cards. I like them. Oh, bye, Karen. It was nice to see you. Thanks for stopping in. So everybody, tell us where you're from. And happy Sunday for those that it's Sunday. And if you're in Australia, I guess it's Monday. Um, yeah, you guys go and check Karen's channel out. You'll really like her work. She makes the most beautiful junk journals. She's really an inspiration. Now, I didn't measure mine. You know, I know that if you guys go over to Carla's, she talks about Encaged Fish where, where she inspired this accordion book. I've made accordion books before. 
and made one of these books a million years ago when I was really young and probably in my early 20s um, when I took book, book binding class you know Sarita that's just pity pat pat is nothing just like you know fiddling with stuff it's what my par partner says that I do when I make an art he says I pity pat pat because he says I, I just go like take it to a jelly plate or take it to a you know, I just glue, I'm poking holes, you guys, through, um, with my darning needle, and I'm using my paintbrush as leverage, because I don't have a thimble, and I don't want to poke hole in my finger. It, it's just a funny expression, Sarita. It's not even anything. It's just him making fun of me, really. He says, I pity Pat Pat. Like, I make, like, little fiddly things. He's a fine artist. He paints amazing, like, true-to-life portraiture and stuff like that, and you know, he, he he sort of lovingly makes fun of me in a way that's like saying, you know, because he painstakingly thinks and does all his, I, he says I just do like this, like pity pat pat. He's just making fun of me. Hi, Amanda's from Arizona. Well, I live in Maui, Hawaii, Amanda. So I'm glad you're here with us this morning. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Where else? Uh, Karen was from the Netherlands. And... Brenda, where are you from? Are you in Iowa, or am I wrong? And Brenda's saying she'd like to send some people some of her bills. Oops, she meant money. <laughs> you guys are so funny. And then there, Renee is from Chicago. And Diana lives in Ohio. You guys tell, the rest of you tell us where you're from. It was so hot yesterday, you guys, here. It was so hot. Indiana. Indiana, I'm sorry. Why did I think it was Ohio? Iowa. I knew it was an, uh, one with an I. That's not good, though. Indiana. Brenda's from Indiana. Do you guys like my thimble? My, uh... These are really... This card has been really fun, or this project has been really fun for me to, to make. I've enjoyed it a lot. I've enjoyed making it. You had a beautiful day here yesterday. Iowa, Iowa won't have you. You're so funny. Nova Scotia. Awesome, Lori. Nova Scotia. Good morning, Lisa. It's a really early. You guys, it's not even daylight here. You know what I think next week, if I can figure out how to do it, I, ha I have to figure out how to run my cables and stuff. I might stream outside next week if I can. If I can figure out how to get my... Um, camera and everything set up outside you guys would like to to I, I don't know it might be it, it might be too noisy for the wind or whatever but I was just thinking about it I was thinking that might be kind of a fun change to um, to stream outside I'm just using regular sewing thread and you guys it, it's a very forgiving process the whole card so the whole card is a forget. The whole thing is a forgiving process. It's not a. It's actually really. It's actually been a really fun endeavor. This little card. Broadcast from the garage. Oh my god. Where all my stuff is. It's just in boxes. But I did um, manage to. They haven't finished our little tiny, mini renovation. We haven't finished that at all. But I did manage to. Oh, I didn't sew this one. But we did manage, I did manage to go through and I purged a bunch of books and stuff again yesterday. I worked on that. I did, I managed to bring in some boxes from the garage and I purged a bunch of books and stuff that I'm not, that I'm, you know, just took them to the thrift store and I, and I cut a bunch of tags. I went through my, um... I went through my packaging stuff because you guys know how much I love to save, um, you know, like cereal boxes and that sort of thing. And I went through that and I, I purged, purged, made tags out of some and purged some, put some right in the recycling. And so my goal is as soon as they finish the electrical part that I'm going to move back into my space 
but I was kind of hoping like by going through all my stuff while it's out there that when I move back in it it'll be less you know it'll be less cluttered and I did order a bookshelf which I'm excited about um, I went to buy one and they were out of them so they said oh well, we'll order it for you no extra charge and supposedly it'll be delivered next week but we'll see I'm not holding my breath nothing ever comes that fast here um, you're gonna thin your book bulk You, you know what though, Sarita, if you poked your holes with an awl before or with a pokey tool or whatever type of thing, it doesn't really, you're, you're just, you're not even sewing, you're sewing like eight hole stitches. So those of you that haven't said hi, say hi. <laughs> Do live calamari. Oh my God, you guys would be out of your mind. You know, I would if I knew how to work my camera. My camera is just this little, little webcam and it, I don't quite know, I don't have a tripod that works really well. Right now I have it like, sort of like, um, it's hanging from my ceiling. It's ridiculous to set up, but Hottie made it for me, so I have to be kind and nice about it. And, um, it's one of those things where you're just like, you just make do, you know, it's, it's fine. If I got a better camera though, it would be better. What did you say, Brenda? broadcast from my garage is such a mess you guys it's so it's like scary the mess that I made in there it's really scary the mess I made and it's not a regular garage here you guys we don't have regular garages here we have like carports so it's not like a regular garage you know so you can't it doesn't have the same housing thing like you can't just pull the door down and not see it. It's sort of like in your face all the time. But that's okay. It's what it is and I'm good with it. You know, like, I feel blessed. I love my little house and I feel blessed and I shouldn't complain about my mess. I have more than enough to make a mess with, right? And I should just be grateful for that. I should just be grateful for the more than enough to make my mess with. There's lots of people, I think, that do YouTube videos with cell phones. I don't know if you can stream, though, with a cell phone. Can You, you must be able to because people, I see people Facebook Live with their cell phones. My new cell phone would be horrible, though, you guys. It's like, it doesn't even take good pictures. And for those of you that have mastered an Android, I, I bow down to you. I used to have an iPhone, and I liked it a lot better. I am, I'm so, like, hang up on people on my Android. It's ridiculous. So, I'm just going to tie a knot in it, and then I'm almost done. I'm just going to finish the, uh, make the ends for this little accordion card book. But imagine, I know it's a surprise, Trish. I wasn't planning on it, but I hadn't gone, even gone to bed, and I was still crafting, and I thought, earlier I had... Susan and I were chatting and she was trying to convince me to go do it at last night when I was awake. She was like, she was like, just start streaming. And I was like, I have to cook dinner and, you know, so I was like, no, but I'm still awake. Well, Renee, if you know how to broadcast with an Android, let me know because I don't know how to do it. I like, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm Android impaired. I don't know how to broadcast with it. So the only thing I would tell you, or my only advice when you make these out of junk mail, is uh, you may need to reinforce it a little bit, and I'll show you. Let me see if I did it on the other one, but I'm just opening it up so that it lays flat. Just now, this is this is kind of a fun part. So what you need to do, you need two pieces. You need these outside pieces, which are cardboard that are covered in book pages, right? But then you also need a piece to cover this initially. So just go to your junk mail and then just, what I did earlier was I traced around my book and I cut it out. And that's all I did. Traced around my book and cut it out. Cut two of them out. Um, well, I'm not tech, you know, I'm a techie. I'm technically inclined in some ways, but in other ways, like, I guess if I, if I read the instructions, which I haven't done, so, you know, I shouldn't even admit that, right, that I haven't read the instructions, but I haven't, I haven't read the instructions, 
haven't read the instructions for this little phone, so it's probably great, and I just, and I just, I'm missing the whole boat with it, right, because I haven't read the instructions. So this is going to be glued to the outside, and then you glue the other cover over that. Well, Sarita, in order to get them onto your laptop, you need to have a cable, the same cable that you um, that you plug into a printer, or you have to take them from your phone. And, you know, I don't know. I understand that. I get, I, I, I get the tech problem. Now, I'm going to glue this to this with a glue stick, but generally I would glue um, the other one. I'm going to glue with uh, a wet glue. All right, you lurkers, everybody say hi. It's nice. It's a nice Sunday morning. The sun's just now coming up here. Say hi to everyone. Tell us where you're from. My name is Shelly, and I live on the beautiful island of Maui, Hawaii. On the islands of Hawaii. And it is now 10 minutes until 6 a.m. <laughs> you may not need instructions. Well, I do for my phone. I'm telling you, it's not... My Android phone is not, an iPhone is pretty, like, pretty much for dummies, and I could just, you know, turn it on and be good with it. This is, I have to say, a bit challenging. This is a bit challenging. So, can you guys tell me what's on your crafty table, or what are you guys planning on working on today, on this beautiful Sunday? If you're in the States, and if you are in Australia, it is Monday, right? I don't know what day it is in the Netherlands. And I'm using a permanent glue stick, ladies, because as I've told you before, it is um, always better to use a permanent glue stick when you're making these little books. Okay, and that's one side down. And then I'm going to do the other one. What did you say? Hi, Tracy. It's 5 o'clock in the evening in the UK. Oh, that's good to know. That's really good to know. So for all of you out there that get these big junk mail postcards, you can save them and make these accordion books with them. They're really fun. And you could make, I think I'm going to make some Christmas cards like this too. I think obviously the Christmas cards I'll put some trees or something in. But I bet you that Whoever I make them for will keep them, what do you bet? If you got a little accordion book like this, I think you would keep it too, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you guys keep your accordion book if you got one like this? I'm just trying to make it even. Now you could just stop right here and just leave it like that. But I'm going to go ahead and glue my um, other pages on it. My, I just want to make sure it's as close to being even. A little cover. Um, so I made this, I made these earlier. These were just the same junk mail covered in book pages. I just want to make sure that I don't need any extra, let me just see. Yeah, I probably should have made them a little bit bigger, but I didn't. Okay, this one. It was kind of fun, though, using my junk mail to make this. I really enjoyed actually using my junk mail to make it. So whoever receives it, hopefully they'll enjoy the junk mail, too. Okay. I think I have some more seam binding. I know I bought some. What did I do with that? Here it is. So somebody gave me a, a, some of this. It's that Hug Snug seam binding, and they had already painted it, and I just was going through my stash and found it. Hi, Nora Jane. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Brenda's saying, Tracy, you're way ahead of us, and you can tell us the future. Is she having a good day? Brenda wants to know. She wants to know if 411. What did you say, Diana? 
Yeah, I think, yes, I think they would look good instead of the little, the, if you cut the Christmas trees in the windows, I agree. Might take a little bit of practice on my part, but yeah, I agree. I think it would look really cool. Well, hi, all you lurkers. Say hi. Good morning. I'm glad you're here with us. Welcome, welcome. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue to, um, to do on the insides of my covers. I just want to make sure I have the writing going the right way. You know the book pages are probably racy. I didn't even look at them. Okay, isn't that terrible? I did not look at the book pages to see. I didn't look at it to see to see what what the pages were. So how many of you guys start? Our kids had had a full week of school this past week. And I have to tell you, it kicked my butt. Getting up and being out of the house by 6.40 after I had, you know, I don't usually sleep super late, but I don't, I definitely don't find myself getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning on a regular basis. So it sort of kicked my butt this week. I'm just spreading that glue really thin with uh, just a plastic card in case you can't tell what it is. I just want to make sure I know which way my book is going to go. I was trying to see if the writing was upside down. Not that anybody's going to read the writing, read the writing in it, but and maybe I should put the, the seam binding in that one. I think that's what I'll do. See, I'm not planning well. What did you say? You're watching this live, and then Michelle all Monday. Awesome. Oh, Michelle's going to do something live? Oh, that's awesome. Maybe I can stay awake for it. When is she... Tracy, when is she streaming? Can you tell me? I don't think I got a notification for it. So... I don't think I, I got any sort of notification that she was going to stream. I think I need to add just a little bit more glue here on this on the little fabric part. How many of you guys are going to take advantage of all the school sales with all their glue? You know, I did when I took my daughter to get her school supplies. I got myself a few things of, uh, I have been up all night. Isn't that ridiculous? I'm not really tired though. I'm glad it's Sunday. I'm glad I don't have to like drive my daughter to school. Glad I'll be able to take a nap at some point. Do you guys ever just get into the zen of something and you're just like having such a good time doing it? Well, I was out in the garage cleaning up some stuff and then I was going through papers and then, you know, paint papers and I got these big file cabinets somebody gave me and they're outside from like an office and they're outside and I was, um, I was going through them. I was going through them and um, going through the file cabinets and somebody gave me a bunch of hanging files and I usually use the hanging file folders for junk journal covers but um, because I have all these painty papers and different things so I was actually like fi filing them outside which was actually exciting for me. Those file cabinets are so big they can't come in my house. My house is tiny you guys. It's a small, small house. So you know like in a small house you add one large piece of furniture and it kind of takes up everything. So I have to say I'm really enjoying making this book though. It's been so fun. Okay, then I just need to glue the other side and then I'm done with this one then I have one more to sew. Part three. Oh, part three of the journal at 6 p.m. UK time. Okay, is that like in, what time is it now, right now, Tracy? 1 p.m. U.S. time. 
so 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. So what time is it now? It's 12? Okay, well, I'll be done before she gets on. So thanks for telling me. Thanks for telling me, Tracy. I appreciate that. So did you make along did you make along with that journal? Did you make that journal, Tracy? It's an hour from now. I won't be on an hour. It's an um did you make along? Did you make the journal? Are you making slime, Diana? Are you buying some? Are you making it out of glue and borax or whatever? We made some. And then I made some with my daughter out of that. Um, oh my gosh, you know the the Elmer's glue that's like blue with glitter in it. We made some. We made some out of that too. Yeah, it's sort of that and those. Um, oh my gosh, what are they called? Uh, not fiddlers, but what, what do they call you know the things that twirl around? Fidget, fidget spinners. Is that what they're called? Fidgets or something like that. All right, let me see if I can get this one in the middle too. This is the only tricky part. Oh, I better get the words going. See, the words are going this way. The words are going this way. Um, I should have probably marked them before I glued it, but I didn't. Guys, I can't do anything like where you have to really measure. It just doesn't work for me. Okay, I think these are both. I think they're pretty even. So I'll mash it down. No, you just cashed in on cheap gallons of glue. I'm gonna go buy one of those big ones too. Oh, you ordered the kit too. Oh, well, that's good, Tracy. That's good, Tracy. Good for you. You guys, I'm so bad. I, I um, I don't like anything that I have to do. So, like, I would probably love to make the journal, but I'd have to make it out of my own kit. I'd have to make up the kit. You know what I mean? I'd, I would have to. I would have to. So I'm excited about this one too. This is going to be great. I mean, look at it. It's going to be, this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm like really like, I'm really digging these. I'm really digging it. Out of all those painty papers and junk mail. And then I'm going to write this sentiment. I'm going to write the, whatever I'm going to write to her on the back. And you can see it was, um, she can see it was junk mail. But I'm going to tie it together so that it stays together while it dries. Oh, I need to cut off the... Huh, I guess I need to cut off the, the... Hug Snug. The Hug Snug... Um, So I would love this if anybody sent me one of these. So I hope she likes it too. Hi lurkers, happy Sunday. Say hi. Okay, so that's two, I've made two. I've made two and I'm, I'm excited about them. And they, and they do look similar, you know, that was, because I paint, used the same paint, I used the same painty paper, so that's why they look similar. And I've lost my glue lid, which is always normal for me. Do you guys ever sit, like, right in your space and you lose something right in front of you? Like, it's right in front of your face and you don't see it. I don't, I don't know where the glue lid is. Maybe it fell on the floor. I don't know. I don't see it. So this is number three. This is number three. Um, I made one for a card. I, I, I did a, belong to a group that does, they do it I think every three months. They do it three times a year. They do like a, 
you know, like a secret Santa swap, but it's called a secret sister swap. And, and you, um, you have to make a handmade gift and you make a handmade card. And so I had, I made all my stuff. I got it all together, but I hadn't made my card and it's actually an avid group of card makers and I'm not really a traditional card maker. I don't, I don't have all the stuff to make cards. Like I don't have the dies that you would need to, and I definitely don't have the A4, the perfect card making paper and all that stuff. So I'm just going to clip mine together on one, on the beginning side. I find that that's super helpful before I start poking my hole and sewing. And I poke the hole and sew, like I poke the hole and then sew it and poke the hole and sew it like that instead of poking all the holes. So I decided I was going to make her this, um, <laughs> Renee says she keeps her scissors hanging, hanging on yarn around her neck because she'll lose them if you set them down. Oh, I had that problem too. You had the earphones on so the sound was terrible. Oh, Michelle's doing a live stream in an hour. That's what's happening. So I decided, Lisa, that I was going to make these. Hi, Lurkers. Everybody say hi. I can see that there's a whole lot of you here, but you're just not chatting. So just say hi and tell us where you're from. You don't have to participate more than that. And for those of you that want to join our face, we have a Facebook group. And you can continue the chat and see what's going on. If you head over to Facebook, it's Crafting Mamas on Facebook. So, um, I'm making the, Lisa, you know, I always function better if I have extras made. Does anybody else do that? You're lurking. You said hi already and I missed it, Susan. I'm sorry, I was looking down. I haven't been to bed, Susan. I'm doing one, I'm, I'm pulling a Susan, I'm pulling a Susan. I haven't been to sleep yet. And it's 6 a.m. It's finally getting light outside. It's been dark this whole time. Anyway, so Lisa, I am making, first of all, I'm making them for myself, you know, but I'm making one to send to this lady that I have to send out in a, in a package, but I'm making it, I'm going to glue some of my bits down, but I'm making it because it's always good to have extras. Do you guys function that way? Like where if you make more, if you make more than one thing, then you always have it if you need it. Does that work for anybody else besides me? So, I like it. I like having extras, so then if I need it, then I have it. Like yesterday, I cut up all my cereal boxes, and I probably have, I don't know how many tags I made. I cut them all up. I didn't, um, I didn't paint them, but I cut them all up. Hello, Tracy. I'm happy to, I'm happy you joined us, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe we'll see you on Tuesday on our live stream on Tuesday. Thanks for, thanks for coming by. And Trish says she's crafting, and she can listen, but she can't read at the same time. She can't chat at the same time. You know what? I totally get it, Trish. I really do. Did you guys do, did any of you guys go over and watch Cat Hand yesterday? So, I got up, and I love Cat Hand. I, I don't get to see her video. I haven't, uh, that was my first live event with her, and I was super excited to do it, so... I went over there to, you know, join into the live stream, and she was having technical difficulties, so I ta on the chat I said, well, here's my phone number, call me and I'll walk you through it. Hi, Kate. Nice to meet you. Welcome. So, she, um, so she said, you know, so she called me, and then when she called me, she goes, take your phone number off the screen. And it took a while, but we we got her thing up and running. It was crazy. It was so ridiculous. It was like, I think that, you know, they are always updating the software. And I think what happens is when you're doing, when you stream, is that the software, is that the software updates don't take to the software updates of the streaming, anyway, to the camera and all that. And so... We had to disable some things, and I mean, it was basically like, you know, like troubleshooting if you were calling, like, a computer company. So I am tech-savvy in some ways, but with my phone, I'm not. I suck. I just really haven't read anything about it. 
Oh, you did? You watched the Circle of Love video? Yeah, that was an impromptu video too, Kate. That was, uh, and it, it, what you didn't see was one of the ladies on there, and it got kind of intense. It was ended up being wonderful, but one of the ladies in the live stream told us that, um, she was expecting what was the, what was the whole impetus for it all was that she was expecting some money. She has several children, and she was expecting some her regular money for the month or whatever, and it was declined. And so she would, didn't have any food to feed her kids. So that's what started it all. It wasn't like I'd wake up every day and go, oh, let me just drag my YouTube viewers into a meditation. <laughs> So that's why we were letting go. And do you know what's really amazing about her is that, um, you know, she let go of the expectations and the stress of the money, and some money came to her shortly after, um, shortly after our energy work. She was just stressing out, and that so that was the impetus for it, Kate. It was not. You felt good afterwards. You know, you can go back and listen to the energy work on the end of that. Um, it stays there. The energy, the energy, will be just as potent as, as if you were um, watching it live. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it was just, it was just some clearing work. I mean, I do it on myself every day, you know. And I do. That's what I do for a living. I don't paper craft for a living. But can you imagine if I paper crafted for a living? I would be like, I would be starving. <laughs> I would be starving. It would be like, oh well. She made junk today. She made her junk mail art today. There'll be no eating. There'll be no eating. Junk mail art. No eating. Well, I'm glad you went and listened to it. That one was a good one. That was a good one. Now you want to see an energy healer? Well, that's what I do for a living, Kate. I'm an energy healer. That's what I do. You don't have to see an energy healer. You have to, you just have to be open to the energy to work it. You can actually just call one and listen to one. You know, sometimes I think it's more powerful when you don't actually have the visual, when you have the, just the audio part, because it lets you be where you are. I have made a living doing my art, Diana. When I was a jeweler, I made, I made a living making jewelry. I've sold my glass work. Um, recycled glass work I've sold that and I do big paintings that I sell sometimes um, but I don't I mean paper crafting is just for the fun of it you know I mean I know there's lots of people out there that do um, make and sell junk journals or whatever but I think for me that wouldn't that's just not I take too long to make things and I get too into it like I'm too I spend too much time on it so, you know, I'd probably be making like a penny an hour, you know, or something like that. Or if that, half a cent an hour, you know. Okay, and not all energy healers do the same type of work. You know what I do? I mean, I, you can have different things. Um, what I do is I put you back in alignment with yourself. I put you back in alignment with you. So for each person, it's going to be a little bit different. But you know how, like, when you feel really positive, like you're on the right path, you're doing the right thing, that sort of thing. Okay, I'm digging this card. I don't know why I'm liking them so much, but I am. Okay? You have no idea why I'm liking them so much. I think it's because they, like, fold up and down. Did you guys ever make pop-up cards as a kid? I made pop-up cards, and I loved them. When I was a kid, I used to make... All kinds of stuff like that. I'm just gonna, just trying to figure out where to put my clip. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Jamie. Good morning. Obsessed's first name is Renee. Although, to be honest, Renee, that name when I when I envision you or whatever I think your name should be something else something more sassy something more sassy not that Renee's not sassy but you know what I mean 
I think it should be more sass. Have more sass in it. Hi, Carla. I'm Carla. I'm still obsessed with making your book. I'm still making them. I've made two. Look. Look, Carla. And I'm going to post them in your group. If you guys haven't gone over and watched Carla's channel, it's called Caged Fish. And she has a Facebook group called Art Experiments. And it's a really fun group. Look, I've made two out of junk mail. Out of my junk mail, Carla. I'm like junk mail obsessed. I'll open them up for you in just a second. I'm like into it. I'm like into it. It's all your fault. Like, this is like... So Carla made these like a month ago. And because I knew I had to make that card for someone. When she made it, I was like, okay, when I have to make that card, I'm going to make the accordion. I'm going to make the accordion book into a card. That's what I'm going to do. I, I'm like... I have to tell you, I'm a little obsessed with it, Carla. I'm having my own moment with it. I'm like, I don't know. I've made it out of scrapbook paper. I've made it out of, but my favorite is the junk mail. You guys know me and my junk mail obsession. Don't ask me why I'm obsessed with junk mail, you guys. I don't know. But I am. Do you like my thimble? It's, the, it's my paintbrush. It's because I'm using a darning needle. And the darning needle is, it's quite pokey. And I can you can really hurt yourself with it. So, you guys go over and watch her. I, I linked it in the last video, and when this video goes up, I'll link it to. I'll link it as well. In the video that I made mine initially in, I linked Carla's video with the accordion book in it. And you can go see hers are much more beautiful than mine. Hers are. Uh, she makes them out of a really beautiful paper, and she does really beautiful stamping. And you have quite an elaborate one, Carla, that has multiple more than three three windows, right? Don't you have one that has like five windows or something like that in it? I haven't ventured to the five window one yet, but I'm like into these, Carla. I'm like, I'm into, the, I'm into it. I'm so into it. It's ridiculous. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like into it. So for all the next, for everybody's birthday that in my future is going to have one of these cards, at least for right now, until I get tired of making them. It's all Carla's fault. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. Yours are really wonderful, though. And if you guys are into collage work or want to even delve into collage or collage books or um, an en masse journal thing, you know, Carla was the one that came up with that idea. Shannon Green asked Carla's permission if she could do it. And I think Carla calls it a, do you call it a scavenger hunt? Uh -huh, a scavenger? Oh, you made it from poster board. Okay, I'm going to definitely, then I'll have to get some poster board. Um, Carla calls hers a scavenger book and Shannon Green called hers an en masse journal so if you guys want to see where the idea originated from you can go over and see it I think it's called a scavenger book and um, you know what I could post that uh, link in my description box below as well if you want to go over and learn a lot about uh, page content and just get some ins inspiration you know to especially if you're new to making collages or you want to make collages or you want to make an art journal or something like that. Carla gives some really good tips on and you know, just through example shows you how to uh, make some really beautiful things just for magazines and I appreciate that. The scavenger hunt but yeah I like it. Um, you know I didn't I I didn't when, I was, when my kids were little, we would do stuff like that, like make a scavenger hunt style book, like especially when we were traveling, you know, we would make it. Um, I wanted to show you guys, see, I made mine with junk mail, and what I've done is I've reinforced it with book pages where the folds were, because, you know, this junk mail was those postcards, and they weren't really meant to be moved back and forth, so I went and I glued some book pages, I don't know, can you see it? I glued some book pages on the back. Carla, I get inspired. I always look forward to Tuesdays, you know, especially like I used to get all disappointed because I would miss it because it comes early for me, but, um, not that I'm not up early. I'm usually driving back from taking my daughter to school when you're streaming, but I always love watching. I always get inspired and I look forward to it. I look forward to it. I look forward to watching you. I look forward to watching Dee Dee Willingham. If you guys haven't checked her out. Her name is Inkwell, and she streams live on Tuesdays on Ustream. No, Mondays and Wednesdays, and sometimes Saturdays 
on Ustream. Isn't that right? Mondays and Wednesdays is when she is. What's wrong, Lisa? What did I... What is ACT is so bad? Oh, ATCs? Is that what you're talking about? ATCs, Lisa? I love DD2, Kate. I'm a little... I love watching her. She's just... I love... She... You know, she's the one that made me... She turned me on to those magicals. Oh, my gosh. If you guys haven't bought those, those are... I have to say, I don't buy very many art supplies. As you can tell from my junk mail extravaganza, but... She... Her... Uh, her... She's into magicals. Okay, so, Lisa, let me just tell you this. Make them bigger. Just because ATCs are two and a half by three and a half, make them bigger. So do you know how ATCs came, ATCs came about? ATCs came about in the late 90s, and I think it was a Swedish guy. Correct me if I'm wrong, Carla, but I, this is what I remember. Okay? Came about in the late 90s, and he wanted to do some sort of a collaborative, communi community-oriented art project something multiple something like many people could get involved in and as you know most gallery spaces are really small and I think he even did it like in a bookstore or something so he came up with the idea of just like it was like baseball cards so baseball the reason they're that size is because that's the size of a baseball card so um, I want the mag I, ha I bought the magicals. When I clean my art space out, when I get it re after we finish our little electrical project, I will, I'll do them with you. I've made some stuff on them really cool. Anyway, so ATCs were meant for a large group of people to participate, and he did have, I can't remember. Do you remember the Swedish guy's name, Carla? That that did it, that did the um, the whole. I think he was Swedish. Anyway. Yeah, I think he had something like 1,200 people participate. 1,200 people participate in doing ATCs. And in a normal gallery setting, you couldn't ever have 1,200 people. I mean, can you imagine just for one, even if they had one piece of art, right? So it took off because you could, you know, make your one-of-a-kind pieces of art. They were really small. And they would go to these events and they would trade them. And that's why they became artist trading cards, or kind of like baseball trading cards. And um, I, can't, I can't remember his name either. Anyway, so it just caught on. I mean, it really just caught on. And what's exciting about it is sometimes, you know, like if you found an artist you really loved, you could never afford a piece of their art. Many of them make ATCs. Even Dee Dee, she makes ATCs, but she makes hers the size of a Project Life card, which I think are 3 by 5 or 3 by 4 and <clears throat> I think with an ATC though if you um, if you just don't get yourself intimidated and just start making making backgrounds do your painty papers do your um, you know your painty papers do your papers and um, I need a really need a thimble. This darning needle is really hard, you guys. Put the hold my finger. Um, you could get a piece of artwork from somebody that maybe you coveted a piece of artwork from, but you could never have afforded it. So I think it's really cool. So just get your bar. It was started by a Swiss artist. Yeah, Swiss artist. What was his name? I can't even pronounce his name. I don't even want to butcher it. Yeah, I knew it was in the late 90s. So, anyway, that's where they came from. But what's really exciting about it is that we all enjoy making them. Isn't it, like, super fun that we all, like, get into it? And that somebody, you know, in the 90s, like, said, Hey, I want to make it, I want to do a community art project. I love community art projects. Hello, Michelle! I heard you're streaming in an hour, so I'll be done way before then, and everybody's going to jump over and watch you work on your beautiful journal, part three. So, Lisa, don't be discouraged. Just try. You know, that's what's fun about that is that the piece of art's so small, and, you know, it's like you can't really go wrong with it. You can't really make it wrong. 
you can't really, I mean, it's like a fun, it's just a fun way to express yourself. Don't take it so seriously. Just try. Just try. Now, I saw somebody up there wrote inchies and twinchies. Those are very small. Those are very, very, very small. But you can do the same thing with your inchies and twinchies. Make your painted papers and then create on top of it. Okay, I have one more thing to sew and then I'm going to glue my ends on and then I'll have card number three. Carla, thank you for introducing me to this. I am like a little obsessed with it. I admit I'm having my own obsessive compulsive moment, but I'm loving it. I am loving it. Love, love, love it. Hi, Cheshire, how are you? So, did you guys have a brunch this morning? Did anybody, does anybody get up and do Sunday brunch anymore? Somebody told me, that, what do you call it, a bunny? Who was telling me it's a bunny gathering or a, what do you call your brunch thing? Oh, I'm obsessed with it, Carl. I can't help myself. It's like ridiculous how much I love doing it. It's so ridiculous how much I love doing it. I just bent my needle. You guys use needles? Have you noticed that everything, like needles made in Pakistan or whatever, they just like, anyway. I bent my needle. I bent my darning needle. How could I bend my darning needle? But I did. I'm enjoying it so much, I have no idea. You like using your small stamps on um, twenties and inchies? That's awesome. Well, I really did some calamari yesterday. I really did some, I really cleaned out a lot of stuff. I went through and I made boxes of books to take to the thrift store and I made boxes of art supplies to take, give to my daughter to take to school now that school started and, you know, for the whole class to use them. Just stuff that I know that I, either I have so much of that I either can't possibly use all of it or just stuff I'm not interested in working with right now. But isn't, but you know, as soon as I let it all go, right, I'm going to want it back or I'm going to want to make something with something that I let go of. Does anybody else have that issue? Like when you give away your clothes and then you go, I gave away all my my uh you know evening wear and now i'm on now i'm invited to something you know so that is i did that yesterday bye jamie i'm happy to see you if you're around later michelle's gonna be working on a journal that might really interest you jamie just to hang out and see it. You broke your, you broke, Trish says she broke her needle in your finger? Oh no. Mine's not a craft mat. You know what this is? This is my makeshift one. You guys, I have portable things that I make. Mine is made out of a recycled box. It's made out of a, um, the mat thing that I have underneath here. It is made out of a express mailbox and it's covered in, it's covered in, um, wax paper. I couldn't even think of what it was called. It's covered in wax paper. I made mine's a, so it's not that hard. Anyway, no, mine's not even contact paper. It's wax paper. I've taped it down. I've taped it down, and because um, I take it off and use it, and I sew them when they get really grungy and painty and and whatever, I take them and I sew them and make them into envelopes or pockets or stuff like that for my junk for a tra like a regular junk journal. So I. I put wax paper down on it. Do you have the same issue, Kate? Well, there you go. 
Okay, now you guys, I'm like so obsessed with this, so really silly, but I like it. So I am gonna, I think I'm gonna make my Christmas cards like this. I think I'm gonna, I'm, I had thought about the same thing that you mentioned earlier, Diana, cutting the holes in the card to be like a tree. I think that will be super cool, super awesome. Super awesome. So did anybody go and go, sh did anybody go shopping this weekend? What did you guys do? Guys, I hid in my house this weekend. I just worked on my, besides cleaning out my space or purging more things or reorganizing. Um, I'm like so loving it. Okay, here's this one. And then I just need to cut the edges. I need to find a, I have a, let's see, do I have anything else that I've brought, like a scrap? No, nah, I have this scrap and I must have one for the, I did cut up a bunch of, um, I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut my, uh, my little ends out and then I'll make another one to cover that one with a book page. So, I hid in my house, you guys. I didn't do anything. Usually I try to go and do a bunch of stuff on the weekend, but can I tell you, last week kicked my butt. I was a mombie the whole week. It was ridiculous, but I was a mombie. Yesterday you went beach combing for beach glass. Awesome. That sounds like a lot really fun. You have to go to the grocery store, Trish. We'll have a fun time at the grocery store. You guys, the weekends here are the worst to go grocery shopping because a lot of people travel or fly in on a weekend here. And, you know, people that are just visiting the island. So it is really packed and I don't like to shop when it's like that I'm a little spoiled I don't like to I don't like to go when it's going to be filled with so many people it's just too much I get like claustrophobic and then start like stressing myself out hi Victor how are you what time is it where you are Victor what time is it in the Ukraine and if you guys haven't gone over to watch Victor's channel, he's got a great crafting channel, Mr. Victor Crafter. And I still have not made your, I'm still going to make those um, foil, those, the champagne bottle foil flowers, but I haven't done it yet, Victor. I'm definitely, it's on my to-do list, though. I've saved some foil. I have a friend who works at a bar, and I have had her save me save me the foil from all the wine bottles so I'm excited I'm gonna definitely try it so but I'm making Carla's book I'm making Carla's accordion book which is my latest newest obsession I'm enjoying it a lot her her accordion book I'm enjoying it a lot a lot a lot I'm enjoying it a lot. It's like a lot of fun to make. Oh, is, okay. What time is that? You said it's 19:30. So 12. I don't. You guys, tell me what 19:30 is. Does anybody can somebody tell me what 19:30 is in regular hours? Oh, Dee Dee's shells and magicals inspired a walk on the beach. Awesome. Where do you live, Kate? You guys, unfortunately, the beaches here, the sh there's not a lot of shells anymore. People have, like, it's been pretty beach combed out, you know? It really has. It has been beach combed out here. You have to go to one of a more remote side of, one of the island to find the, um, to find the, the shells you want. Okay, Susan, I'm painting with a paintbrush. Susan says I never paint with a paintbrush because I always paint with a credit card which is usually true. I'm painting with a paintbrush right now. So there, see I do paint with a paintbrush. Occasionally. I do paint with a paintbrush occasionally. So I am painting with a paintbrush. 7.30, 7.30 p.m. is 1923. Cause I, can you tell that my head can't do math when you haven't slept when it, since I haven't gone to bed yet? Since I haven't gone to bed yet, you can tell that my head can't do, 
can't do math, but that's okay. So did you guys watch Cat Hand yesterday make the file folder? It was very inspiring. She covered a file folder with her scrap bits and then doodled on it. I love the color palette that she works in. It's so cheerful. You got a you got a pot of you got a new pot of maters processing, so you're gonna pet her for a few awesome. Bye Michelle. Thanks, thanks for coming to hang out. I know you're doing your stream in about 25 minutes, right? I'll be done by then. I'll be totally done. And you guys can go, all go head over to Michelle's and make your shabby chic beautifulness junk journal with Michelle. And that would, she, I'm sure she would appreciate the company, even if you guys are just making what you're making and not making what she is. Okay, I'm going to let it dry for a second. And then while I'm letting it dry, I'm going to cut out my bigger ones. So the bigger pieces, can I cut them out of this? Let's see, do I have enough? Oh yeah, I do. The bigger pieces just have to, I probably could fold it in half. You don't need to go to the sea for shells you found a lot this year, Victor. Oh, good for you. Toma tomatoes, Cheshire, she's just speaking She's speaking hillbilly, right? <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> Diana says maters, too. They're maters in Ohio? Oh, funny. Sarita, how was your party? Weren't you going to a party? Okay, all you lurkers, just say hi. Just say hi. All you have to do is just say hi. And tell everybody where you're from. So we had somebody from Norway and we have we have someone from we have a couple of people from I'm just measuring my thing. Eyeball I'm eyeballing it. Now this one I'm going to cover in a book page. This is the one that's going to go on the outside and it's going to be covered in a book page. Okay. These are the ones that go on the inside and then I'm going to... I thought I had some painted book pages, but I don't know. Maybe I'll use one from this. You guys, I love paperbacks. How many of you guys like paperbacks? Paperbacks have the coolest um, yellowed pages and I like them. I like them for stuff like this. You guys are so funny. Are you trying to explain why you call things maters and why you call things stuff like that? Is that what you're explaining? You guys are so funny. So funny. Brenda, I didn't see your Wonderland show. You did a show on Wonderland, like as an Alice in Wonderland. I didn't catch it. What did I do yesterday? Oh, I was in my garage doing my stuff. And then you know what happened? It's my internet went out for a while and I didn't even know it. And so, because I wasn't paying attention. It went out for several hours yesterday. So this one I need to even up just a tiny bit. So I'm making the outside cover for those of you that are and I'm making mine out of a book page and yeah you probably should read your book page before you make it because you guys know me and my racy book pages. And so I'm hoping nothing I've glued down is racy. But you never know. Maters and taters. Is that what you guys say in Ohio? Maters and taters. So funny. You guys are so cute. It's 
Sarita says a Mater is a, is a tow truck <laughs> in South Africa. <coughs> so, tell me what you guys have on your, on your crafty agenda for today. Does anybody have something like outstandingly fun on your crafty agenda today? You said it's a hillbilly term. Is that a hillbilly term, Sarita? We have hillbillies in South Africa too. So if you guys have never covered a piece of paper, it's just super simple like this. One thing I will tell you is um, you just want to do, you know, you want to um, do both ends at the same time. So if you're going to do it, do one end. I'm sorry, I have stuff all over my desk. One end first. And then turn it into the other end. I love these permanent glue sticks and I love the fact that they're on sale right now. What, are you, what, a, what instruments? What did I miss? You guys are talking about instruments and I missed it. Who's going to be doing something with your instruments? <laughs> you guys are so funny. So I'm trimming just a little bit more off the edges so that it lays over flat so it makes a really nice mitered corner. This is the same thing you would do on the inside of a junk journal if you wanted to cover up the, you know, the cardboard. Guys, I'm from Texas. You know, there's a lot of hillbilly in me too. You know what? I didn't even realize I was from a small town until I left. Okay, you guys? So, what does that tell you? That's pretty bad, right? That's pretty naive. When you're from a small town and you don't even know you're from a small town. You're closing your eyes, but you're listening, Kate. Well, I'm happy you're here with us. Well, I'm still working on my crafty wish list. I've, I've been making this list for a while and trying to prioritize it by, like, what I want. Oh, my gosh. What are we, we're talking about Pocket Man now? Oh, my gosh. You guys are ridiculous. I've missed Pocket Man. For those of you that are new to my channel and you've ever, ever, ever wanted to, like, I guess, have a full experience of what it's like to be in a, a live chat, go and watch the... YouTube video that says Pocket Man. You were 12, 12 years old before you got to the city, Brenda? Wow. You know, I'm pretty much good anywhere I live. I mean, definitely where I'm living now has less of a population than, I mean, there's not... A lot of tourists come here, but it doesn't mean you have doesn't mean you see a lot of them. You know, if you don't put yourself in a in a job situation where you're going to have to deal with tourism, you don't. You need a shower. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Sure, Sarita, that's so funny. So you might be a hillbilly, but you just don't know it. You have hair like buckwheat. Oh my god, you guys. I had dreadlocks. I cut all my hair off. I had dreadlocks. Literally, I had dreadlocks. My hair was like dreading. My hair was so long and it was dreading. And although I think dreadlocks look good on some people, they did not look good on me. Okay? Dreadlocks did not look good on me. And it was not on purpose. It wasn't like I'm going, oh yeah, let me have some dreadlocks. I mean, that's just not, you know... So, I only painted this because you might see a little pieces of it on the inside of the journal and or on the inside of the accordion book and I didn't want that. I didn't want you to see like the 
the bright fluorescent blue or whatever it is, the aqua blue of the of the dentist flyer that it that it came from. So and I made it just ever so tiny bit bigger than the the two pieces that came together to make the to make that book make that side and this is going to be covered up so you won't see this you won't see it on that side guys I'm loving making these if you haven't made one do it you're going to love making it too and it's not hard it's really easy and I think it looks more impressive than it is hi Anne how are you happy Sunday happy happy Sunday so does anybody still have big Sunday dinners? When I grew up, where I grew up, big Sunday dinners were like, you know, you always went after church to your grandmother. Yes, it's an accordion card in. Um, where I grew up, you would have big, huge Sunday dinners. And my grandmother's house, my mother's mother, they all cooked lots of food. You know, I'm from Texas, so there were... You know, you didn't cook for one. There was no, none of this, no, no stingy cooking. You cooked as if you were cooking for an army because you never know who was going to show up at your house. And my grandmother was an amazing cook. So Sundays were a big deal. People would come and visit my grandmother and she cooked. Okay, so now all I have to do is glue this sides on and I may have to put some more paper on it though. Yes, and I'm obsessed with making these crazy accordion cards. It's so silly. It's actually an accordion book, right? Carla made it as an accordion book. But mine is going to be a card. Because I have to send some cards out. I just want to see if it's going to cover. Or if I need to put a little more paper. No, it's going to cover. Um, but I decided that I wasn't going to... That I wasn't going to make the, my other my normal trashy card that I was going to use my junk mail obviously and make this kind of trashy card and this is what I'm going to send this is what I'm going to send and I'm, and I'm kind of like I'm really loving them I'm really enjoying making it and I'm really loving the whole thing about it I'm really enjoying the whole process the whole process of making the card and everything it's like super fun for me and if you haven't tried it, I suggest you try it because it is a little bit addictive and you're going to really enjoy making it. You are going to enjoy making it. You will love making it. How many of you ladies are going to go over and make your shabby chic journal with Michelle? She's going to be making it in like 15 or 20 minutes. So for those of you who get your shabby chic, if you want to get your shabby chic on, and I think she's making it from a kit. Am I right, Brenda? She's making it from a kit? And she's going to make it from a kit. And she's on the design team of someone's design team, and she's making a shabby chic journal from a kit. So I, she's going to be doing that. She's going to be doing part three of that. For those of you that have, have already started yours. She's going to be doing part three of it in like 15 minutes. And hopefully I'll be done by then. Let me see which side. Let me figure out which is the up. This is the up. This is the up. This is the up. Just get it in the center here.
Did you buy the kit? Did you buy that kit, Brenda, too? Or did you wing it and make? Or you're gonna make your own kit? Are you just following along and making your own kit? Or did you buy the kit? Family dinner, yeah. So I use I sometimes cook family dinner for my if all my kids are around I make it. Do you guys ever do that? If wife you know all your kids are gonna be around, do you ever indulge and make like a big nice big family dinner? Or is that just me? Am I the only one that still does crazy stuff like that? I need to add some more book pages. I would have want to fix ten come you can't afford kits. But you know what's kind of funny? Hi, Lori. You know what's kind of fun, though, Brenda, is you can make your own kit. You know, I make my own kits. I mean, honestly, if I... And, and I have a different aesthetic, so I'm not always into, like, whatever everybody else does. You know me. i got to have some trash in mine. i gotta have some. I got to have some trashy bits, trashy pieces in mine. So I think that, you know... I think I think making your own kit is like super cool. I like that idea. Oh, your boys are so far away. You don't have you don't have family dinners in because they live too far away. Well, that's normal, you know. You even make your own paper. I make I make handmade paper sometimes too. I have a beautiful. Hottie made me a great decal out of. Um, you know those pallets, those shipping pallets that, that people have, you know, that you get, you know what I'm talking about. You see them like outside your stores and stuff. Those shipping pallets. Well, he made me one out of a shipping pallet. And I love it. I mean, I've made cool paper out of junk mail. Have you guys ever done that? That's like super fun. Paper out of junk mail. You know me and my junk mail obsession. I don't think it's too late to get started on the shabby she can. I mean, if you're talking about the journal that I made, no, because that's super simple. If you're talking about the kit journal Michelle made, of course not, because you can go back and, you know, if you buy the kit or whatever the kit she's doing hers in, mine was, no mine was nothing. Mine was just a an envelope, you know, a little six by nine envelope, manila envelope. And, um,. But I don't think it's too late either way. Not with YouTube, Anne, because you can catch up. Like, you can watch, you know what I mean? No matter who it is, what YouTube artist you're following or what YouTube thing you say, it's never too late. We haven't finished ours. Mildred was giving me the, she was giving me the whole 411 last week, right, girls? Do you remember that? She was giving me a, she was giving me a little bit of grief about my, about my shabby chic journal, like when we were going to finish it. And I was like telling her, I was working on it. I was like, Mildred, I have to be inspired. I can't just... Because I have to be inspired. I could... If I'm inspired, you see, like I'm making three or four of it. But if I'm not inspired, I just can't even do it if I'm not inspired. Does that make sense? If I'm not inspired... If I'm, hi craft, hi Samara, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. It does make sense, Anne. You know what? And I ebb and flow, and because I've been going through so much, so many stressful things. Like sometimes it's good if something's not bringing you, like, you know, helping you feel more zen. It's like stressing you out. Sometimes I think it's just good to just stop and not do it. You know, I just think it's better to. To just not work on it, you know. That's just my take on it, though. What do I know? What do I know? I don't know anything. Except I gotta line up my, gotta line up my pages here so that my covers, so that my covers are kind of close in size. I mean, in you know, in proximity. But I am really digging making these little books. So, and these were not anything. You know, it's just ridiculous. You know, it's just how it works. 
inspiration is necessity for me, you know. I, you know what? That's why I have a whole bin of half-finished projects, too. I have a whole bin of them, Sarita, of half-finished half products. Because I think I'm going to do it, and then I get into it, and I'm not really having fun doing it, so then I let it go. Like, the, this one I need to paint on the outside a little bit. But I'm going to let it dry before I do that. Now, I'm digging it. I'm liking this one. Like, this one I need to paint on the outside cover, but look at the inside of it. You know? And if you were going to do... Uh, can you see it? Am I am I too far away? Or am I, I can't tell until it gets up there. Hi, Lori. Okay, can you see it? Good morning, Amberly. How are you? So... I've made three of them, you guys. That's how obsessed I am with them. So they need to... Carla does tell you that you should lay them down on something to um, flatten them out. So I'll show you the other ones that I've made. And then it is good to lay a book on top of them. I'm into it. Samara, I'm telling you, you make one and you'll be into it too. It's so fun and it's not hard. Here, I'll show you the components of it so you can make one for yourself. I'll show everyone the components of it. My hands are a little gluey. I've got a bunch of glue on my hands, so they're a little gluey right now. Do you need to lay something flat on top of it so it flattens up? Okay, I've made three of them, and I have some components for other ones. Sorry, you guys. That's like my mess. Look at the big mess going on. No, me and my painting papers. Okay, so let me just move this. It's like a mess, you guys. It's like have a mess, we'll travel. Have a mess going on. Have my painting papers. Have that. Just got my mess going on. Okay, so let me find the scrapbooking paper ones. Where are they? Am I blind? Okay, let me move this. Here's my scrapbooking paper ones. Okay, if you, if you didn't watch how we made them on Friday, you can go back and watch how we made them on Friday, which is super simple easy but you can also look I'm sorry let me just move my to clean my paintbrush okay so it's really super simple you can make them with any kind of paper I was doing paste paste paper earlier so there's paste paper on here too okay sorry so these are the three that I made so far and I made mine out of book pages but you can make yours out of anything you want it doesn't have to be out of book pages it's just what I like and what I have Okay, so you need two pieces of paper, and they have to be the same size, and it doesn't matter what size they are as long as they're the same size, right? And then you're going to fold them like an accordion. What you do initially is fold them in half, and, and then fold, you know, that one on this one, that one in on this one, and then back, and then back, and then you make your accordion, right? So you have two pieces that are accordion. After you have your two pieces, you bring it together. You could probably cut them all at one time. I didn't. You cut up you cut it up like this see how it is you cut that shape this way and then this way you know cut down at an angle up at an angle and then straight across and that makes your windows now if you're going to use a plain paper then you go in back and you stamp on the inside right with your any kind of stamp right and then that makes your windows then you sew it together you sew one you sew it up here and down here skip the window part sew the next one at the top and at the bottom just with the needle and thread, just one stitch, top and bottom here, and top and bottom here. So it's eight stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight stitches total. Then you glue, after you've done your things, then you glue, and you tie it in the back. So my, I'll open them up and show you mine. Then you cut a template for this, and you glue a piece here, and you glue a piece here. And if you want to put the ribbon, then what you would do is cut two more pieces, just a little bit bigger, cover them with paper, put your, glue one here, put your ribbon through it and glue it here, and then glue another harder piece there. That's it. But like, alright, so here's the three I made. And I am digging them. I'm like so loving it. I am so loving it. Bye, Renee! Time to supervise fish tank setup. Good for you. Okay, here's card one. Dun 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 Made it a junk mail. Have fun with the fish, I agree. 
and they're not envelopes they're made from junk mail and then can you guys see the painted junk mail in the back it's junk mail that I have covered in painted book pages junk mail that I have covered in painted book pages so this is one accordion a little accordion book now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write my sentiment on the back here I'll lay it down flat you know, lay it down just like this, open it up completely flat, and I'll write something to her. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll write it on a piece of paper and glue it back there. Right? But I'm I'm digging it. And if you wanted to do yours where you stamped on it, you just have to stamp in the valleys, you know, in the in the down slope on the inside before you glue it to before you sew it together. So that's one. They're all similar, so they're made with my painty papers. This is the one you guys just saw me make, and this is the other one. Aren't there going to be a cool card? Thanks for thinking so, Victor. I, you know, learned how to make it from Carla, so you guys go over and watch her video. But I made mine from my painted, you know, all these painted book pages that I have. All the bits and pieces. I collaged all the bits and pieces of painted book pages. I'm digging it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm excited. I'm excited, Carla. Thank you for like turning me on to this. I'm like so excited. I'm like, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna get a piece of poster board and make a bigger one. That was my that was my version of Carla's version. Now you guys head over and see her version. I if, if you guys I will put it in the link of this video. But if you look at the one that we did on Friday, there's already a link in it. I'm like so excited about them. It's like so silly. It's ridiculous how silly it is. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. So we'll see what kind of feedback I get from the recipient if she writes, and yet another trash card. So crazy. So what are you guys going to work on? Tell me. Yes. Yeah, so, well, I used a brown paper bag for my meander book. I used a brown paper bag for the base of my meander book. I loved that. A brown paper bag base, yep, yeah, that would be good too. But I'm liking my recycled cards. And then I. Did yours have ties on them, Carla? I couldn't remember. I just decided that I wanted a tie on it because. I was going to give it to her, and I was like, oh, do I put a grommet, you know, like, do I do this? And I was like, oh, no, I'm just going to put a tie on it. So, I'm, like, loving it. I'm, like, so enjoying make. I, I've enjoyed making them, and I'm just finding them really fun to do an exploration with. I've been making meander books, too. I have one. I don't know where mine is. I made one. I made a bunch of them. I made, I've made, like, five or six. Mine have been made from brown paper bags, though, because I had a, a crazy amount of brown paper bags. I don't even know where all that, you know, they don't allow any sort of, um, they don't allow any book, any, any plastic bags here anymore, which is great. Bye, Kate. Yeah, for those of you that are going to go over and make with Michelle, you better head on over there now. She's going to be making her uh, shabby chic journal from a kit by... Who was the kit by Brenda? And so she's supposed to be writing lesson plans for next week, but you're watching and videos instead. So this was my meander book that I made out of a brown paper bag. Okay. This was my meander book made out of a brown bag. You know, I enjoyed making it. And my sides were not both the same. I mean, I should have made them similar. They had light colors, but they weren't. They weren't all the same. If I make it, then I made another one where I did make most of the sides similar. Brown paper bag meander book, and now my. Her channel Cheshire is Michelle Scott. Michelle Scott and if you go look for what's live she'll be popping up and she's making it's part three in the series of making a 
Shabby Chic Junk Journal with what was the kit, Brenda? Can you tell everybody what the kit was that she that she said? You're making Christmas tags, Mary Kay. I think these would be cute as Christmas books. Um, Diana said I should cut these out as trees, so I should. That would be really cute, right? Oh, I need to glue this some more. Oh, it's because the paint was wet. The paint was wet. When I put my glue down, the paint the paint on here was wet, and so it it didn't stick. Oh, it's from a Sierra Miller kit. Yeah, Michelle Scott, and she's going to be streaming. She's streaming now. So if you guys are going to go over and make, do part three of her junk journal, her shabby chic junk journal with uh, a Sierra Miller kit, head on over there to her channel right now. She will be waiting for you to show up and support her and show her some love. What did you make today, Victor? Sarita says her tags are waiting for tomorrow. And Victor says he made a refrigerator magnet from a plastic cover. Oh, good. Did you make a video of it, Victor? Because I would love to see it. I always love to see what you do. Even if you're speaking your language and I can't understand any of it, I still enjoy I still enjoy it. I still enjoy it. So thank you, Carla, for my new current obsession. Carla's book. I do need to paint this one. I will paint it after it dries. Yes, Shabby Chic. Head on over there to her channel and watch her do the Shabby Chic thing. Awesome, Brenda. Head on over. Yep. She said she was going to start. So you guys go, for those of you that are interested in going over and doing a Shabby Chic journal, head on over. Head on over to Michelle's channel. And make a Shabby Chic journal with her. Oh, Victor, I would love to see what you made. Did you find every, like, do you just, how, where do you find all your stuff to decorate it with? Oh, thank you for your inspiration, Carly. You're the one that started it, and I'm always inspired by you. I love, I always love watching you. I always enjoy it, and I always feel like that after I've watched you, I better get to it and start doing something. <laughs> I put, what did I put on the ends? I put, um, it's a piece of cardboard. So it has, um, this one's not quite dry. That's why I closed it back up again. So, um, I put, here I'll show you. Thanks for stopping by, Lynn. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm glad that you came by to hang out for a little bit. Enjoy, if you're making your shabby chic journal with Michelle, enjoy it. So this end has, um, a piece of cardboard that's covered with a book page. And then on the end of it, because see how the ends of it, when you sew it together, it, it has these two ends like this. What I did was I cover I, I I traced around this and I glued another piece of paper there. Right? And then I went back and I glued the book page on it. You know, I glued the um cardboard in the book page. You know, so that's what I did. I glued the cardboard in the book page over there. So, but go, uh, if you guys go look in the link uh, of the description, well, after this one's over, I'll post it in this one too, but if you go back and look at the one we made on Friday, it has Carla's live feed link in it too. Carla, what are you working on today? Are you working on your Anything Goes book, or are you just, are you just doing, doing life? Liz, it's a fun book to make. And if you go over, go over to the Carlos channel, which is called Caged Fish, and if you look, I think she did it like three weeks ago. I think it's called like Anything Goes Book, an accordion book or something like that. Yes. It was, it's a fun project. Amberly's making Grandma's Garden Book today. Oh, that's fun. <clears throat> that's super fun. Good for you. 
I made some tags too. I don't know where I put them. I made some. I made some texture paste tags. I made some homemade texture paste, and I'll show it to you guys in our next live feed how to make it. It's not hard. Not crazy with the consistency of this one, but. It's not your time today, but I didn't know if you were working on something, whether it was your time or not. Carly, you can do yours anytime you want. You can have your stream anytime you want. So these are ones that I made with this homemade texture paste, and it's on packaging tags. And I painted on, like I started to paint on this one. Um, it's not the same as buying texture paste like that you buy, you know, like a... a um, Oh good, you'll make a you'll make a video this week, Victor. That's great. Um, it's not the same as working with texture paste that you buy in a bottle like Liquitex or Golden or you know one of those texture paste. But it but it didn't do bad. And now I have to go back and paint them all. So I made a bunch of tags. Remember I told you guys I was making packaging tags. <coughs> So I made a bunch of packaging tags, and then I made some plain ones that I have, don't have anything on it yet. So that's what I, this is what I've worked on today, or yesterday. I worked on a couple of other things, and the organization, and, and all that stuff too. So, but I've really enjoyed making this. I'm like so into it. I think I'm going to make a few more just to have in my stash, not to necessarily send out right this minute, but to have in my stash so that I can, it makes like a fun, thank you Carly, get, gave me a new addiction, makes it, makes it like a fun, makes it like a fun thing. Okay, my lovelies, everybody take a big inhale, breathe in really deeply. And exhale. And one more time. Breathe in. And exhale. And one more time. All right, my lovelies, and as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha. Bye, Carla. I'll see you. I'll see you soon. And I need your address so I can send you a postcard since the one I sent you never got to you. But I'll, I'll message you. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging in with me. And I'll send you one more round of aloha. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. You guys head on over and say hey to Michelle. She's doing her Shabby Chic Journal, Michelle Scott, on YouTube. Even if you don't have the kit, just run on over and say hi. You know, it's always really nice to, to show one of your fellow crafters some love. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday, unless I get inspired before then. And, you know, share with you. Maybe I will share with you my uh, calamari. All right. Love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. All right. Take care.